Configuring NordVPN on your router, just how hard can it be? I'll take you along my experience as a complete noob, so you can perhaps avoid some of the pitfalls that I have made. And just in order to be completely transparent, I'm doing this for NordVPN, but I'm pretty sure that it would be similar for some of the other VPN services. Two questions to be answered before we even start to dive into the video. Uh, first of all, why would you use a VPN? And secondly, why would you set it up on your router? So first question to why to use a VPN, uh, and that's for improved pri privacy when surfing the, the internet uh, and browsing around. Uh, if you haven't done any changes to your internet setup, then all your browsing uh, logs and statistics, statistics can probably in some way or the other be accessed by your uh, internet service provider. So if you want to avoid this, then you could use a VPN service uh, and that could be any VPN service. Uh, of course, do your own research before uh, choosing a specific one. Um, some are uh, more onto privacy than other and some are more into speed than other. And then the second question, why would you set it up on your router? Uh, most VPN services, they provide an app for your, for your mobile phone or a, um, an app for your computer. So you can connect them directly uh, and easily uh, to the VPN service. Um, and that provides the same functionality. The drawback is that you only provide, oh, sorry, you only protect the specific device. So uh, most, uh, first of all, most uh, VPN services, they have a maximum limit to the amount of devices. So Nord, for instance, that's six devices. Um, so if you plan on protecting uh, or providing improved privacy for more than six devices, then this could be an option. And then secondly, this was probably uh, the main reason for, for me doing on, on a router basis is that you have to actively do uh, log on to the VPN each time you take off your, your mobile phone or, or start up your computer. I'm not sure, I haven't tried it out, uh, so I'm not sure how easy it is, uh, but, but that was the main reason for me going the, the router way. Then before we start to dive into setting, setting it up on your router, there are some things you want to be aware of. And one thing is that uh, setting up the the VPN service on the router basis um, the encryption and decryption that puts a quite a big load or not a big load but it puts load on the processing power on the device so on your computer for instance it's not an issue because the CPU is, is very powerful but on a router where it's not um, it can provide a, a heavy limitation to the uh, to the internet speed that you you get um, so to be aware of uh, here and um, I only have a 10 megabit upload and 10 megabit download so it won't be an issue for me um, but I can see that digging around that some of the maximum speed that you can expect to get is in the range of 150 to 200 megabits um, with the current uh, routers uh, processes out there here of in the uh, in the in the first quarter of, of uh, 2021 um, so if you have a faster internet connection let's say for instance a 500 uh, megabit uh, internet connection this will be a significant bottleneck on your overall internet speed if you are in the range of 100 or 200 megabits or, or faster uh, you want to uh, dive into which specific um, processor are in the routers and here you for Nord uh, VPN which uses OpenVPN uh, it's a single threaded uh, process so you want to uh, find a router with the uh, with the highest clock speed uh, it doesn't matter too much whether it's single core, dual core, or quad core. All right, so let's dive into uh, me trying to find a router and setting it up on the on the router node VPN on the router. 
So first of all, I did some digging on the NordVPN site. And naturally, as this is the internet or the VPN service that I will be using. And um, when you go into the, to the supported router section, uh, you see a few models um, and you uh, so you could say that NordVPN they they stick to to a handful of routers that they uh, support, but they do have a let's say a fairly open phrase that most Asus routers will be uh, compatible with the with the service. So I went out and bought the uh, RTAC fifty one U, which. By coincidence, uh, is also featured in one of their tutorials. So <laughs> naturally, I thought that this one was support supported. So I bought that, uh, got it home, got it unboxed, uh, got it set up for for my internet uh, and my 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 network. Um, I followed the let's say the fairly straightforward installation process of putting on the VPN service on the router. Uh, yeah, and I, naturally I updated the, the router first thing to the to the latest firmware, uh, but then I got into a, a, a TLS error when the uh, router wanted to connect to the VPN service. So I got all the setup correctly, but when I pressed the the activate for the VPN service, um, nothing happened and it just stalled. And I can see in the log uh, that a TLS handshake error uh, failed um, so I spent quite a lot of hours trying to to dig around the internet and I found various threads uh, supposing different solutions um, but but none of them worked so I ended up reaching out to the NordVPN uh, support uh, and to be fair they were very very fast to to respond and, and also quite competent in their response uh, i think i waited for something like four minutes or so then i got in line and i just started copying in the uh, the the lock uh, the error lock from from the router and within let's say 10 minutes or so uh, uh, the support employee were able to spot out that the asus router uh, running the latest firmware only supported, only had a version of OpenVPN installed, uh, version 2.3.2, which was uh, by the time of April 2021 20, uh, uh, obsolete compared to what NordVPN has shifted to. So it has to be, the router needs to support OpenVPN at least 2.4. Um, and I mean, this n no documentation around this was uh, available either from from NordVPN side up front, uh, trying to to dig around, uh, finding a, a suitable router, but also uh, no documentation was available from Asus on which version the uh, the OpenVPN uh, supported, or the the uh, the versioning of the OpenVPN on the router. All right, then having uh, accepted that my router couldn't be uh, couldn't be, couldn't support uh, the NordVPN service, um, I have to ship it back and order a new one. Uh, I found that the uh, for 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 my current location at the time of buying, uh, the greatest value in terms of getting some proper uh, CPU speed um, was the. Uh, uh, RTAC uh, 68U. Uh, it has a, a dual core, and if I recall re correct, uh, a, a a clock speed of uh, either 1.8 or 1.9. Um, and I have found some threads around the internet that this should be able to to run at some in the range of 100 and and, and 50 megabits to 200 megabits. Having the new router ready, the setup installation of the VPN is actually quite straightforward, straightforward once again. Head over to NordVPN-servers and either choose the server or use the recommended server feature. Download the UDP file, that was the one that I at least in my research could see provided the fastest, uh, fastest speeds. Uh, and then run the 
tutorial instructions on setting up the the uh, VPN on the on the router. And then I'm happy to report as of uh, April 2021, the AC86 uh, uh, works with the Nord VPN service. An additional uh, bonus feature of this router, actually I don't know whether the 51 has it as well, but there is a mobile app available which make toggling the VPN service on and off very easy, uh, so you avoid having to, to take on your take up your computer and log into the router uh, you can do it all via the the app aces app instead and uh, you can also if you import a uh, multiple servers for different locations you can also easily switch between them all right so that concludes the my thoughts on uh, an experience of getting the nordvpn service to work on a on a router so hope you found some useful information. Thank you.